Hi, this is Rich Ramsey with You Never Die Entertainment, and I'm going to show you how to set up HTML5 video on your web page. So you can have your own server, your own video, you won't have to go through any video upload sites. And if you have a web page that you want to put your own video on, you can do it easily. So for this tutorial, I'm just assuming that you have your own web address and your own host, your own server host. So I've done a lot of searching on the internet for the easiest HTML5 video setup and I found this place, videojs.com. It's open source, which means it's free software to the public and it's a pretty cool uh, company here. All you do is you go to videojs.com and you hit setup and there's instructions right here. You can download and self-host it yourself. There are instructions for that, but for today's tutorial we're just going to follow the easy instructions with VideoJS actually hosting the program. So in the head we're just going to copy JavaScript and CSS file links to go in the head of our web page. So let's go back to our web page and open up Notepad or a similar text editor. I'll open up my web page right here. See all files. And here's my basic web page right here. So in the head, follow the simple instructions. Put this in the head. Go back to the videojs.com page. And in the body, just says to put the video tags right here in the body. You can come back to this page and find out how to add other controls and captions and all that other fun stuff, but just to get the basic video up and rolling on your web page, we're just going to put the simple video tag in the body of our web page and paste. So Let's see what we have here. Video ID equals my video one. This is in case you want to put more than one video on a web page. You'd call the second video my video two, my video three. I know this is boring. So the class, this is the skin. This is actually how your player's gonna look. There are lots of cool options out there on the internet, but we're just gonna use the default control skin. Preload auto, you can auto play your video if you want. This is the width and the height of how the video is going to appear on the web page. So it's set up 640 by 264. I like to run mine 640 by 360. So I'm going to change the, the height. And a poster. This is what's going to appear on your web page when people visit your site before they click on the video. This one ends in PNG, but be sure that your file path is correct and the correct format of the picture is used. I have a little cheat sheet here so I can copy my picture because the file path is so long. So I'm going to take my poster, simply put it in between the tags. Make sure that it ends with jpg.jpg .jpg so the browsers can read it. And be sure because in browsers like Internet Explorer to size your photo in a photo editor close to the height and width of your actual video. Because in Internet Explorer, the older versions, it actually reads the height of the picture as it is for some reason. But to correct that, just simply make your poster image close to the size of your video height and width. And data setup. That's like I said earlier, you can add a bunch of cool functions. Just go back to videojs.com and learn all about that. Now here, source. These are the sources of your video that are going to be housed in your web server. And you're gonna need two different types of video formats for this to work. You can have three. Here we have MP4, WebM. You can also add an OGG file. But this is because there are so many browsers out there and cell phones and iPads and 
Mac and Windows and Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox. This is so all the different browsers and software makers and companies and whatever, because there's so many different ones, can read the video. So we have an MP4 and a WebM as the basic setup, and that's basically what we're going to do today. Now, if you don't have an MP4 or a WebM video file source, there are plenty of free online converters on the internet. You just have to search for them or just maybe spend a dollar or two and buy some software. So in the first source, go back to my cheat sheet here, we're going to put the path to our MP4 video, which is hosted in our server. Take out that second MP4. And the second one is going to be WebM. So let's take this. And I'll always double check the sources back to your file because if the video doesn't play 99% of the time, it's the file source being incorrect. So here we have my Wagi. See, I almost put in the wrong source there. Here we have my source file called Wagi under slash device dot mp4 Wagi underscore device dot webm. Now it's important in your file servers when you name these files that you include the .mp4 and the .webm in your file so that when you implement the actual web page when it goes up the browser is going to be able to go to the server and find that .mp4 in the webm file so we have our double check the web page we have the javascript we have the css from videojs.com we have our stand-up comedy tutorials poster. We have my poster and we have our two movie sources, our two video sources. And all we have to do is save the page, go to our file server, upload it to our host, which is taking forever at the moment for some reason. Here we go and go back to our web page refresh and here we have this video so let's see if it plays our posters fine and here we have it a video being played on my web page being played from my file without going to any outside upload source So, congratulations to me, huh? I hope that helps you, and I hope you get your video up and running. Any questions, you can go to standupcomedy.me backslash tutorials backslash HTML5 video. I have a pretty cool tutorial page set up with written instructions on how to do what I just showed you. And I also have a bunch of options that you can add to your video player, like adding two player sizes, adding a music player, adding a social link, adding an embed link, adding a playlist and switching from HD and SD. It's a pretty crude form and the video always starts at the beginning, but it works. And first and foremost, very importantly, watch my film Woggy. It's about a man on Hollywood Boulevard 
that ends up taking photos for tips with tourists in a dinosaur costume. I think it's very funny. So, that being said, all of those controls I just showed you, you can implement into a player, like I did. These are all of the controls. All of the functions that I just showed you how you can make to make your own player that's embeddable. So, HTML5 video is here, and it's quickly advancing with all the geniuses at work working on JavaScript to make it quicker, better, more efficient. And you can now host your own videos. So have fun with it, and take care.